I'm, I'm praying that I have at least, at least three calls a day that I'm having to call Mrs. Jones, you know, throughout the day. Different Mrs. Jones different, is it, right. to call and say, I'm sorry, Mrs. Jones, but we ran into um, some emer- emergencies and we're not able to, to get to your call today. Um, love to schedule you for tomorrow at such and such a time, right? That's what you want every single time. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 372nd episode of Potty Talk. This episode, we're going to be covering the plumbing numbers that matter. Mm. By the time we finish this episode, sweetheart, yes. we're going to know exactly the numbers we need to keep track of. Okay. You know, it just blows my mind. We kind of get, we see the guys get all wrapped up. And in fact, you know, this, you know, the squirrel moments and all mm-hmm. these little shiny baubles, all these different numbers, you know, all these KPIs that are called, mm-hmm. you know, key predictive, um, Key um, indicators. And, uh, indicators. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you know, and, and so some of the, the software and stuff we're using has all these KPIs and shows us all this stuff and it looks all fancy and, mm-hmm. you know, it's all, you know, it looks exciting. At the same time, we can feel like we can get lost in it, mm-hmm. which is what happens yes. to most of the guys out there. Mm-hmm. Happened to happened to us early sure. on, okay? Mm-hmm. But these are the numbers. In this episode, we're going to cover the exact numbers that you need to know, okay? Okay. If you just ran your business just with these numbers, it's all that would matter. Correct. And especially for um, some of you that are just starting out, right? Yes. Um, These are the things that matter. Now, eventually, when your plumbing company grows and you're you're this, you know, you're a, a plumbing business mogul. Right. There's, there's these num- KPIs on all the different numbers. Those are important to know and all that. But right now, starting out, which is, you know, that's, that's who we're talking to. Most of the time it's, it's guys just starting out with their plumbing business and figuring out the whole plumbing business game. So this is the easy, now going, f- even when you're, I know get what you're getting ready to say, even when you're bigger, focus on these numbers. Absolutely. These are the numbers to mostly focus on. These are so. the, the, the block and tackling numbers, you know, the stuff that matters. We, Football as you, right. Um, <laughs> you know, we can get into, I can use all the different sports analogies or get into other fancier stuff, but there's basics in everything. Right. These are the basic numbers that you must understand as the plumbing business owner. Mm-hmm. And you keep track of these and they're simple. You keep track of these numbers, you will grow. Okay. Okay. Period. Okay. Let's all right. About it. So number one, mm-hmm. first, all right. The first number, mm-hmm. okay. You want to keep track of. The number of calls a tech runs per day. Mm-hmm. Okay. The number of calls a tech runs per day. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we get um, we get excited when there's a lot of calls on, you know, on the grid. Ooh, each and, plumber has eight, eight jobs. calls. Right. And we Ooh. think that's great. You know, we feel mm-hmm. all secure about that. Bad. That's very, very bad. Very bad. And we okay. did this in the beginning. Yes. We and we've done everything. We've said that a million times, but we did this where we had tons of plumbers and we were just stacking them and stacking them, you know, five, six, seven, eight calls a day, thinking, man, we are just this is great. Right. But what happens? Is the guys are just running through the calls. Okay? Absolutely. Do no not more. service Mrs. Jones well. So. Right. Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. No more than three calls. Okay. I want no more than three calls. For tech. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. In fact, we know that the statistics. 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, we, we know that the, the best the best plumbers, okay, the plumbers that make the most amount of money, not only for the plumbing business, but for themselves, mm-hmm. run no more than 1.8 calls a day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I want to keep track of that number. Correct. How many calls are my, my techs are running? Right. And if you're, if you're scheduling having to schedule more than three calls a day for every plumber, then that's great. But it tells you, you need more plumbers. Exactly. Don't just then stack up the plumber or with more jobs and more jobs. If you're consistently getting more than three calls a day, even more than two, um, yeah, you need to, you need more plumbers. Amen. Amen. Well, that kind of leads to our second point. Our okay. second number we want to keep track of mm-hmm. is the number of calls that we can't run the same day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, we want to keep track of the number of calls that we can't run same day. Correct. Meaning we have to move them to another day because the, hopefully your plumber has sold more on the job or is, has served Mrs. Jones really well, provided her options. And some of them go with the highest, you know, option number three, right. the better, you know, the best. Right? Right, right. And obviously it's going to take more time. So you want this to happen all the time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. In fact, we're, <laughs> I'm, I'm praying that I have at least at least three calls a day that I'm having to call Mrs. Jones, you know, throughout the day. Different Mrs. Jones is it, right. to call and say, I'm sorry, Mrs. Jones, but we ran into um, some emergencies and we're not able to, to get to your call today. Um, love to schedule you for tomorrow at such and such a time, right? That's what you want every single time. You want to, if you, again, if you do that, if you're constantly oh. having to move calls, you need more plumbers. 
Don't fall into the trap of, well, I'm just going to work my guys till eight o'clock at night, or I'm just there because you're going to lose guys. Right. You're going to lose guys and you're losing money. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, then the other, the, the flip side of that is, is that I'm scheduling my calls out throughout the week. You know, I got, I got my, my week's full. My, yeah. My whole week, my two, <laughs> I'm booked for two weeks. Oh, that's bad news. Guys, that mm-hmm. is something that is really hard to get over, especially if you're just starting out and you want jobs and you, you want to feel a, a secure you want to feel right. secure with a full schedule. That is the most insecure thing to have is a, t- being booked out two weeks. You are you, losing money. You are losing money. You Big need time. plumbers. You need plumbers. If you're a, a guy on his own and you're booked out a week, oh man, guys, you stop. are a dead man plumbing. You are a dead man plumbing. Hire at least two guys. Hire at least two guys so that you can get your butt out of the truck and grow your business. Right. You think that it's it's good because you've got jobs coming in, you've got customer, all the customers love me or whatever. Okay, then are, do you want to do that for the rest of your life? That's what it boils down to because you're setting your business up to do that all the time. Right. Constantly. And you'll get to the end of life and sadly we see it all the time where you have nothing to sell. You think, yeah. well, I have this business, I have this, you know, customer list and all that. This you is nothing. nothing. There's, there's nothing there. You got nothing. Okay. Sorry and guys, so, we're speaking from experience here. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the number I want to keep track of is number of calls. That mm-hmm. I can't run the same day. Right. Get over the emotion of, well, I'm going to, Mrs. Jones is going to, I'm going to make her mad or this kind of, I can count on two hands in 18 years that I actually kept personal track of it. Mm-hmm. That that we lost a customer because we had to reschedule for the next day. Right now, do they like it? No, no. Oh. I mean, most people aren't jumping for joy. But if you keep them um, well informed of you know throughout the day that their call may you know be later or whatever, then you'll be fine. But again, it's a business. It's it's still a business, right? And you have it's, to treat it like a business. So I'm praying because three calls represents another tech. Mm-hmm. So if I'm having a couple days a week, I mean, just two days a week where I'm I'm. Having moving, the, calls. moving calls over, mm-hmm. I'm hiring another tech. Right. And when we say keep track, we really mean keep track. Right. Keep track of it. So that it just doesn't feel like, you know, a few busy days or let me go a different way. A few slow days, you know, that um, all of a sudden you're like, well, gosh, I really don't need a plumber. Well, are you, are you consistently over a month's period of time moving a couple calls a day over, right? Right. You, with the average. So yeah, right. keep track, really keep track. And really what that's doing is setting you up for the wave. You know, we're riding these waves, especially in residential service. They, they yes. come in waves. So mm-hmm. what happens is we start, we go through a, you know, a quiet time, which is always going to be quiet times. And the quiet times are relative. Whether you have one guy, five guys, 10 guys, 30 guys, it's all relative mm-hmm. on what, what the quiet means. So there's always a quiet time. The money's made in catching the waves. Mm-hmm. So you always want the staff on. So the problem we get into is we start thinking, well, I just came out of a slow time. Yeah, my schedule's full for the week two weeks this mm-hmm. month, but I don't want to hire another guy because I know another slow it's time. It's going to be slow again. It's going to be slow again. You can't, you can't you're, play that way. You're, you're, you're thinking that's, you're, you're dying mm-hmm. with that kind of thinking. Right. Okay. It's okay. I'm, I've had this time where I got more, more calls. Mm-hmm. I need to hire guys so I can take advantage of the wave. The money's in today. Correct. The money is in today, right. not tomorrow. Right. And I want to go back to the number of calls texts run per day. Um, if you do give them two calls a day, they, they, they get a sense of what well, the, I don't have my schedule just cram packed and I have to hurry up and get through, right? right? This call because there's this other call. The other thing, don't ever let guys know how many jobs they have. On the schedule. They're going to feel to some degree, but don't let them, if you get you service Titan or whatever, don't let them see how many calls they have because then the first two calls, they're running through them because they saw the third call on them and they're like, oh man, I don't want to get trapped on that call. And so I'm just going to race through these first couple of calls. So don't ever let them see that. Right. Guys, and mm-hmm. guys, this is coming from 30 years of being, <laughs> being in the trade here mm-hmm. in, in, in this kind of experience. So this is, this is a psychology. Yes. The guys just want to go home. This one, of course. The guys just want to go home. You Especially- love your plumbing business. <laughs> they don't. Now you're going to have guys that they capture the vision or are good to be part of your team and all that kind of stuff. But we all, we all live in our own universes. Okay. Mm-hmm. The guys just want to go home. Yes. So if they know that there's, they have five calls on them, they're running through the first four mm-hmm. so they can get to that fifth one. Mm-hmm. So they can, cause that. That's and the they, end of the day. Right, right. End of the day. So I know that I can be out of here by five o'clock. Correct. They're just going to run through them. It's right. just the way it is. Um, also, by only giving them a couple of calls, it, allow, it gives them some breathing room and right. allows them to serve Mrs. Jones better, to spend time and really listen. If they know they, that you're like get on them. Okay, come on. We got to move. We got to move. We got to move. They're not going to serve for service the customer well. They're just not. Right. Um, they're not going to take time to to do a house inspection. They're not going to take time to explain things to Mrs. Jones or provide good options. They're just Exa- not. Exactly. Let's face it. Home service companies are a dime a dozen. And Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. 
It may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's why there's Kick Charge, the industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash kick charge and start getting noticed today. We're kind of taking a little, little detour. Yeah, a little detour here, mm-hmm. but it is important the, the psychology of understanding how the guys, how your plumbers, the plumbers are thinking. And you want to get them in the mindset of taking care of Mrs. Jones, mm-hmm. not just doing the work. Correct. Okay. So if you're, if you're have an attitude or they feel this push from you, Hey, we got a lot of calls. We got to go. Come on, let's get things taken care of. Then they're just going to run. They're not going to take care of Mrs. Jones. Mm-hmm. You need to just internalize that and know, okay, I need to get more guys. And it's your responsibility. That's your privilege of being the owner. Mm-hmm. But you want your plumbers thinking, I, they only have one call. I, I, I just have one call. I just want to take care of this one customer. Mm-hmm. Our whole world revolves around this one customer. Correct. I want you to listen, take your time, mm-hmm. take care of this customer. Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Very important. Thank okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, the third one here is, mm-hmm. is a biggie here. I'll get to that here in a moment, but I have something for you here. My million dollar plumber blueprint mm-hmm. in it. I lay out the exact specs you need to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business, mm-hmm. right? You wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your business without a blueprint? All right. So grab my blueprint. And did I say it's free? <gasps> what? Okay. It's free. <laughs> All right. All right. It's free. There's no excuses. All right. So go out there and grab it at the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free. Free. All right. Grab your free blueprint. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we're talking plumbing numbers that matter. All right. Um, Number of calls a tech runs per day. Number of calls that can't be run the same day. And number three. Finally, a biggie. Okay. Mm -hmm. The number of hours sold for that day. Okay. Okay. The number of hours sold. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, if we go back in, that's that's what we're selling here is hours. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is that is the the most important KPI, hours, not revenue. Okay, how much money I made, you know, that we sold, you know, twenty seven thousand dollars a day doesn't tell me whether I made money. Correct. Your expenses may have been twenty eight thousand. <laughs> right. Ooh. It doesn't tell me if I made money. My hours, and if I figure up my hours correctly, and how I figure my hours and that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. which is easier to do on the front end. Okay, mm-hmm. I keep track of my hours. My hours tells me right now whether I made money or not. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And that's really what you want to know. When you look at your KPIs, that's what guys get lost in these KPIs, like the percentage of, you know, what's my percentage of labor to sales and ah, man, my average mm-hmm. ticket and all that. That doesn't tell, it doesn't tell you anything. All right. It's fun. It doesn't tell you um, if you're, you're being profitable. If you're being profitable. Mm-hmm. Now down the road, as you get comfortable, you know, the bottom, we got to get you profitable first and understanding, you know, what you're selling and what, and, and how to make money. Now, as you grow with this, all of a sudden, um, you know, these, these other KPIs, all right, can be kind of fun and, and interesting. And, and they can be and, valuable and, and in can, helping you make decisions. Right. Or identifying issues with certain plumbers. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So like my, my, you'll, get, you'll get a feel for your materials percentage to sales. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and, per, and also per every, you know, for every tech. Mm-hmm. Well, I, that's one example where we came out, you know, I was kind of auditing that and looking at my percentage of say, uh, my percentage of ex- my expenses, mm-hmm. materials to sales. All of a sudden one month it dropped, you know, jumped up. Normally I was at 24%. Mm-hmm. It jumped up to like 31%. I was like, Yikes. what the heck? So that, you know, that, so that came down the road. I, you know, I was able to go in there and check out, you know, check that out. And that's when there was a time when shark bites for those of you, you know, you shark when they first came out <laughs> and my guys discovered them and they were buying them by the truckload. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the whole, the whole van was full of shark bites. <laughs> you know, they're buying back. They got a trailer. And, that, to and that's when they were like behind. 15 bucks a piece, you know, because they were brand new. It was like, well, son of a, what's going on here? So that, so that's when those kinds of things would tell me, you mm-hmm. know, jump out. Yeah. Those kind of numbers can tell right. you certain things. Right. right. Mm-hmm. But these numbers, okay. Mm-hmm. The number of calls, the tech runs per day, the number mm-hmm. of calls you, that you can't run the same day mm-hmm. and the number of hours you sold for that day. Correct. Those are the vital numbers that can tell you right now whether I'm making money. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or if I'm and what I need to do to make money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everything else really is just fluff. Right. Okay. So you want to focus on those numbers. Mm-hmm. Bonus here. I decided I kind of made a, a game day decision here. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to give you a bonus of what I, I did in my daily dash. Oh, okay. I get asked what, what, what numbers, you know, what'd you have? I call mm-hmm. it the daily dash and I did this daily. And then once you get comfortable with it, you can do it weekly. Okay. But it's important to start off with daily. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I had, I actually wrote it down on a, on a tablet. I like, I like the writing because the writing of, <laughs> of writing it down. Yeah. You can do it within your system and, you know, on an app or that kind of thing or some, you know, whatever. But the idea of writing it 
It's just something about making sure you do it. Okay, well, this is where you and I disagree. I, I know. There's writing, yeah. but also an Excel spreadsheet, right? right which is yeah. which is just as easy, and then it can calculate for you. <laughs> this is technical person versus yeah. non technical. But person. the point of it is, is to keep track of these, and these yes. were the numbers I kept track of daily. Yes. Okay. When I'd come in, like you say, when I'm, I'm now out of the truck. What do I do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I come in there first thing lots in the morning. Of things to do. This is what I would do. Okay. <laughs> How many calls did we have yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many calls? Because that tells me how my marketing is doing. Okay. Am I, am I getting the call volume? Okay. Mm -hmm. My marketing is what generates calls. Okay. If it's all, if it happens to dip down, okay. You kind of get a feel for where, where it's at. If it dips down, then I'm asking why. Why did it dip? Why, why did it dip? Okay. And then go on there. Okay. Well, it's a holiday or it's this or that or, mm -hmm. or, ooh, why we're not showing up on, you know. LSAs. Ooh, right. Or, ooh, well, how, yeah. something's well, how happening here. Right. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But number of calls. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next number of hours sold. Mm -hmm. Very key. Not to, not to sales numbers. Like, by the way, I, I took sales number, you know, I had a, had a board for the, for the guys, for the plumbers, took sales numbers off that. Right. All of a sudden they started to perform. Mm -hmm. It was hours sold. Right. I had these kinds of, these kinds of numbers up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I kept track of how many hours we sell because that tells me, I knew that we had to sell even, you know, 7.2 hours a day to heat my, meaning my, my, just my expenses, payroll, which are those concerns, right? Am I going to make payroll? Am I going to be able to pay for the trucks and whatever? 7.2 hours a day. Mm -hmm. I hit that. I knew we we're okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Cash in the bank. It's a biggie. We never check that. <laughs> all right. Cash flow is king. Mm -hmm. Okay. Having cash. All right. So if we sold the hours, did my bank account go up? Mm -hmm. If it didn't, why not? Right. Oh, we agreed to do that. Okay. We did this job and we agreed to collect, you know, someone gave them, you know, we did, half we, up front we, or yeah, whatever, right. you know, that kind mm -hmm. of a thing. Or right. it could be, you know, I just bought such and such equipment or I just Remind, right. you know, signed up with kick charge and did a branding you know, we did our branding. So right, exactly. So you go in there and say, why? But I'm aware of that. How much money have in the bank? Mm -hmm. I mean, for, uh, for the first couple of years, I didn't keep track of the money in the bank. <laughs> it's amazing what you start keeping track of these things, mm -hmm. you know, how the money shows up then. Right. Okay. And that you're aware and that you make decisions based off of that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. So money in the bank. And then okay. finally, I kept track of the number of recruits. How many people are we were recruiting, interviewing? Right. right. We talk about this, about recruit, recruit, recruit. We're always hiring. Okay. Always. We've got another... Um, you know, body talks on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's something we push very big. You're always, you're always recruiting. You're always hiring. Mm -hmm. uh, you never may not, stop. You never stop. It's part of, part of your culture. Mm -hmm. So to make it part of my culture, that's something I measure daily. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, how many, did we have anyone calls yesterday? Did, did anyone call in looking for a job? Did we have any applicants sent in? Any whatever? Interviews. Interview, interviews. Right. If right. not, then that tells you I need to step up my advertising or my, my ads right. in Indeed or using, you know, services. We've got Applicant Pro and, and work with your hands, those types of things. I, I need to step it up if I'm not having enough recruits come in. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm focusing on the things, on the numbers that matter, that, that drive, that ultimately drive sales, mm -hmm. that truly drive sales. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that was my daily dash. Okay. So, so there we go. All right. Plumbing numbers that matter. Very important. Number of texts, uh, um, number of calls a tech runs every day. Number of calls that we can't run the same day. And then number of hours sold. No other bonuses. There we go. All right. Okay. Hey, if you want to learn, um, you know, more about you know, numbers that matter mm -hmm. and you know, numbers in general and, and other things that are extremely important to your, you know, growing and building a plumbing business, Hey, sign up for a, a free call with us. Yes, we, we have we a, free, help you out. a free call, um, strategy call, and mm -hmm. chat about your business, learn what your goals are, where, okay. where you want to be this time next year, all those things, and then um, help you create a path on how to make that happen. All right. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. Mm -hmm. Schedule your free strategy call. All right. All right. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Good stuff here. Know these numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very important. Hey. Good spending time with you. But before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.